Hey, what's up you guys? It's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I have a video that I think could help a lot of you guys out. It's helped me out as a college student and that is ways to save money. So I've compiled a list of ways that I think might work and ways that I have personally used to save money because you don't need to be in college to want to ball on a budget. So if you want to hear the list I've compiled, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I think could really help a lot of people is food. So think about when you go to eat. Do you pack a lunch or do you find yourself often going and spending eight, nine, ten dollars out for lunch or dinner or breakfast or sometimes two of those things a day? So if you think about it, if you're spending ten dollars a day on just one of your meals, then that's adding up. So let's say you go out to eat five times a week and you spend $10 every time, that's $50 in one week that you spent just on food. So my recommendation is just to pack your lunch. Um, I know sometimes lunches might not be the funnest thing to eat when they're packed, or dinners might not be the funnest things to eat, but if you find things that you enjoy and you like from the grocery store, or even just explore new recipes or anything like that, I'm sure you guys could find something that would be a great substitute for fast food. Okay, this is one that unfortunately I just started doing a couple years ago and I wish I would have started sooner, but that is make a savings account. My savings account has really put a, a cushion in between me and my financial situation. So what I do personally, and you don't have to do this, you could do any way that you feel comfortable with, but I'll put a couple dollars from each check into my savings account. Or if I have an abundance, an abundance, as much as you could have as a college student, in my checkings account, maybe one check, I'll just put it all in my savings account. And that's really added up throughout the years. And now I feel comfortable that when I graduate college, I have something to, you know, fall back on. And also savings account, when it's not in your checkings, that is a great way to save money because it's not readily there. Um, so that's just a thought if you guys want to try that out savings account just for multiple reasons I would suggest getting. Okay, the third thing I want to talk about is just collecting change. So, so often I catch myself doing this. I will get change from somewhere where I went and paid, you know, and I'll get it back and like I really don't know where it goes. Like I don't know if I lose it, I don't know if I drop it in my car, I don't know. But now what I do is I like to keep it all together in my purse and then when I come home I like to empty it out. So once you empty it out enough and like I don't know your jar gets full or you get to an amount of change where you feel comfortable you could bring it to the bank you could roll um, your coins and bring it to the bank and then they will give you cash for that money and that's just all money that you would have lost in like little crevices of places and stuff like that but now you're really just saving a lot of money from just doing this one little thing <laughs> but trust me I was lazy so I didn't used to do it I used to just say like I don't need these three pennies or I don't need this nickel but it adds up you know what I mean another one that I highly recommend is looking for coupons so whether that be in the mail if you guys receive mail to your home you could look at your favorite stores are they having any good sales are there any coupons you could use or is there anything that's beneficial in that packet of papers or what I like to do is when you go up to the cash register and you know they ask for your email, then you'll get sent emails so they might be having a deal. Like I know Pink, Victoria's Secret, they'll send me stuff all the time about their deals that they have going on and American Eagle will do the same thing. And it's just a really good way to stay in touch and to know when to go to that store for things that might be on sale or for any time that you might be saving a little money. Everything adds up. So if you've been wanting to get something and you thought it was too expensive, watch out for the emails because you might get an email that it's gone on sale. Okay, this is kind of like one that I would, I do personally, and that's carpooling. So this could mean multiple things. So either carpool to school, do you have somebody near you, or like if you're going to college or high school or even to work, do you have somebody near you that you guys could alternate to save gas money because gas is not cheap? So I would recommend that. Also carpooling when you're just hanging out with your friends. So if I say to my friend, you know, do you want to go to Starbucks, which is typical for us, I'll say, hey, like if I drive this time, do you want to drive next time? 
or something like that. Just save gas money any way you can. Don't have somebody constantly driving because that's running their money low. And I just feel like it's nice to balance things out. You know what I mean? Okay, the next thing I would recommend is hanging out at free places. So where I live in Ohio, I know it's kind of harder to hang out in free places just because of the weather. It's kind of like if I could go to the beach or I could go to the park, I would love to do that. But right now I can't. So maybe even not necessarily free places, but places that won't cost you a lot of money. Go to a cafe, buy a coffee for like $3, and then just hang out with your friends, talk. I know a lot of cafes around here have free Wi-Fi. Do you want to do homework? You could hang out there. As long as you give them your service, usually they don't have a problem with things like that. So, I mean, buying like a $3 cup of coffee when you're going out with your friends and being able to stay there for a couple hours, even three or four hours sometimes, that can be really helpful because think about it, you could go to an hour and a half movie and spend like $10, $11 at the movies and that's just for the ticket. But you're saving over three times the amount of money and probably being able to stay longer at the cafe. Um, so, but when the weather does warm up for me, or if you live in California or anywhere where it's super warm all the time, you could go hang out at the beach, you could hang out at the park, you guys could play basketball, play any kind of sport. Just get outside, have a good time, hang out with your friends, talk, and just, you don't have to spend money to have a good time. Okay, so the next thing is something that I personally have a problem with as well, and that is, do you really need it? So think about it. Do you really need the pair of black high heels when you have seven pairs in your closet already? Or do you kind of just want them? And a lot of times I'll buy something and I'm kind of iffy about it. And then I'll come home and sit in my closet and then either I'll have to resell it or I'll have to give it to Goodwill or something like that. And then I lose money. So do you really need it? Is it something that... If you don't buy, it's going to be a major inconvenience to you, or could you kind of go without it? Okay, so this next thing is something that I personally just did, and I used to have a room full of just stuff. And I didn't even use half the stuff in here, it was just kind of over cluttered in my opinion. And one day for like five hours, I just cleaned out all my stuff, and then once I magically cleaned out my old stuff and got rid of all the clutter and it made it more minimalistic in my room, I didn't want to bring new stuff in because I don't want to, I just worked hard to declutter my room. I don't want to reclutter it, you know what I mean? So I think that could be very beneficial. Clean out your room. And this could also be a way to find things that you might not know you had. So then that could also help you from buying, re, like over buying. Does that make sense? Like if you already have it, you don't want to buy it again. So it'll help you to get a gist of what you have in your room. And also just once stuff is out, a lot of the times you don't want to bring new stuff in. So that could help a little bit. Okay, so my next recommendation is thrifting or borrowing. So I know a lot of people have like a stigma around thrifting. I'm not saying everybody does, obviously. I personally like to thrift. I never find anything good. But if I did, I would thrift more often. Um, so thrift, do you need something? Let's say you have a work meeting and you have this really cute dress and you need red heels, you don't have red heels. So maybe try thrifting. Try going somewhere where you know that the shoes are gonna be cheaper, whether that is even a discount store. Um, or a lot of the times what I like to do and what my friends like to do is we'll just borrow each other's stuff. So thrifting slash borrowing. So if my, I know my friend has the same size shoe I wear, I'm gonna go to her and say, hey, can I look at your closet real quick and see what I could find? Or if somebody wears the same size clothing as you, me and my friends do this all the time. And it's a really good way to not have to go out and buy something that you're gonna wear one time and then just never wear again. Okay, so the next one is don't walk into tempting situations. So I do this all the time myself personally and I hate when I do it. But let's say, let's say, um, you're kind of debating about if you should go to the mall or not. Think about what might happen if you go to the mall. So you're walking by a store and you see in Victoria's Secret, they have these really cute yoga pants that you want. And now you're like having an internal conflict. Like, should I buy the yoga pants? I know I'm on a budget. Should I do it though? They're really cute. And then honestly, 
<laughs> if I'm in that situation, probably eight times out of 10, I will go in the store and buy the thing that I wanted. So don't put yourself in a situation where you could be like, oh, I like that, I need that. Because ugh, it's just not good. So I would like, if you're on a budget, I would stay away from window shopping or anything like that because that's gonna get you in some major trouble. So another thing that you could do is kind of seasonal and that is ask for things for holidays. So whatever holidays you might celebrate, uh, if you have a boyfriend coming up, it's Valentine's Day. So just like kind of wait and see what you want. And if you and your boyfriend do that, or if your boyfriend and you don't do that, maybe you celebrate Easter, maybe you celebrate, I don't know, whatever you guys celebrate. And just kind of ask for things. So for example, you want this new palette at Sephora. Do you really need it right now? No. So could you wait till the holidays? Yes. So that's when your parents or your boyfriend or your friends are like, hey, what do you want? And you could say, I want this palette from Sephora. So now you just saved $50 from just getting something for Christmas, holidays, whatever. <laughs> okay, and the last tip I have for you guys is to buy off brands. So some of the things that you might buy, you might need to buy the original brand. So let's say um, you have really sensitive skin and the only thing that works for you are these face pads. Then, then buy those face pads, that's fine because you don't wanna, you don't have any irritation to your skin or anything like that. But if you could find a dupe, which I highly recommend doing if, you, <laughs> if you're ever given the opportunity or you ever find a dupe on accident, use that to your advantage because dupes tend to cost significantly less like off brands so for example let's say you're in target so you see these neutrogena face wipes and right next to them you see the target off brand wipes and they seem to have about the same ingredients and the target brands a dollar less than the neutrogena i would suggest trying the target brand if not it's a lesson learned but most of the time if the ingredients add up or you know anything like that you can you can save money by doing that. And that's also the same way with medicine. If you need medicine, off brands, usually the same thing, um, just cheaper. And they're not name brand, obviously. <laughs> okay, so that is all of my tips and tricks for how I save money, especially as a college student who can barely work. <sighs> it's crazy. And yeah, so let's talk in the comments. Do you guys have any ways for me to save money? Because I'm always in the market to save money. Let's help each other out. Comment down below. Also, I just want to keep this at the end of the video because I don't feel like I keep changing everything and I just wanted to say this. But I will be filming when I can. Um, I... I thought I could be able to film on Sundays and like have it uploaded by Sunday or Monday and that's just kind of not the reality of things um, between my internship work and school and homework. I'm really packed to the brim like it's 11.51 on a Wednesday or on a Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is and this is the only time I could film so just try to bear with me. I'm really sorry. I thought I could do it. But I promise to have a video up for you guys at least once every week. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.